Welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Magic Mechanical Learning Tutorials. So in this video I am explaining about a uh, principle of quick return mechanisms. So in my previous video I already talked about the principle of a uh, saper machines. So in that case the basically the cutting stroke or you can say cutting stroke by the ram and that will be having a hundred percent metal removal rate and the return stroke that will be as a ideal stroke so as we discussing that theory only the cutting stroke that will be helped to cut the materials and whenever the ram it will be into the return stroke so that will be the ideal stroke so there will be the no material removal take place so that return stroke I would like to convert into the quick return so by the application of the quick returns that will be reducing the manufacturing time as well as increasing the productivity of the products so let us see which kind of mechanism is being used for making a quick return mechanism so in this figure just you can see AL that will be here A to L so AL that will be considering as a slotted link or you can say that slotted link and AL1 and AL2 that are the extreme positions or you can say extreme positions so the maximum limit of that slotted link A to L that will be reciprocating between two points like L1 and L2 so here A L1 that will be the extreme positions from the this side and A L2 that will be the extreme position from this side now just you can see when a link that will be the position like A to L1 so ram that will be having the extreme the backward positions so that will be the end of the return stroke or you can say that and from a to l1 so that will be the extreme positions into the cutting stroke or you can say forward stroke now during the forward stroke over here the when a crank c to b so just you can see over here that will be the crank C to B C B here. So that will be rotates from C B1 to C B2. So that will be the complete swing into the that forward stroke. So into the return strokes the cranks rotate CB2 to CB1 over here so that swing that will be for the return and that will be for the forward so meaning of this this crank C to B so B1 to swing into the clockwise direction here so that will be the forward stroke so it will be consuming the sum of the time t1 or you can say t into forward and from b2 to b1 so that will be taken the time t return so here only considering the clockwise movement so just you can observe over here the time taken from the forward strokes that will be having a larger time because that will be having a major angle over here and time taken for the return stroke it will be only just this region so that will be having a less time you can find with the kind of geometry so we are required for quick return into the saper machines so let us see if the time taken into the return stroke and that will be making an angle so angle here that will be the alpha 
and if it will be into the forward stroke so in this directions the tat will be making an angle and that will be representing as a beta angle so just you can see from the geometry that will be the time of cutting stroke that will be divided by time of return stroke so time of cutting stroke that will be representing as a beta and time of the return stroke that will be alpha so if beta i would like to explain it, if it will be considering as a 360 degree so 360 minus of alpha so that will be representing as a angle of forward stroke so here 360 minus alpha divided by return stroke angle so that will be the relations for completing the one complete rotation so that much time it will be taken into the forward stroke and that much time it will be for the return stroke so as from the geometry i would like to say that by the such kind of mechanisms of al as well as that cb link you can converting these two extreme position that will be the l1 and l2 l1 is representing for the return stroke and l2 that will be representing for the cutting stroke so as from this kind of geometry in the forward stroke that will be taken the more time or you can say more time and for the return stroke that will be consuming the less time so such kind of mechanism that will be called as a quick return mechanism and this mechanism that will be used into the saper machine so if you like this then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank you very much